glossy on, but it's clearing out a little bit, and everybody has gotten the rags out, and they've dried them off. And right now, I have the car that I've always wanted. How's that? The, I have a 2015 Challenger sitting over there that is kind of built somewhat off of this platform and also the uh, the old Challengers of that day. But you got the real deal right here at the CUDA. And I've got uh, Greg Stoutsman. Stoutsman, yes. Stoutsman. Mm -hmm. Greg, where are you from? Wasion. Wasion. Does it ever rain in Wasion like this? Only when they clean the car. <laughs> about that. Well, I'll tell you what, when you clean the car, this is a beauty. Tell me a little bit about this one, Greg. Thank you. Well, I've actually had it since 1976. I Have you really? Yeah, I traded off a 65 442 Oldsmobile for this car and uh, built it in 78, then I turned around tore it all apart about 20 years ago and complete, I mean, this thing's been dissected more than a frog. My gosh, I'll tell you what, it is a gorgeous automobile. 1973 Cuda. Yes, sir, 1973 Cuda. Why the 1973 Cuda, Greg? Well, I, it was my neighbor's car. She decided to sell it. I just kind of fell in love with it. So I, that's just kind of how it all started. And somehow through all the, all the trials of life, I held on to it. I think anybody that's kind of a close to our age, either one of our age right now, mm -hmm. This 21, is a, this, 21. This, yeah, I'm 26. I'm a little older than you are, okay? <laughs> but if you if you got any age on you at all, this was a car you always wish you had. And it, I don't know about your case, but in my case back in 73, my old man said, no, you're not going to have a car like that. Well, that's kind of what I heard when I was 442. It was, it was <laughs> hell on earth every day when I had that car. So after I got out of high school and, and bought this thing, he didn't have much to say about it other than shake his head, you know. <laughs> So. Tell me the color on that thing. What well, that is a beautiful blue. Uh, it's it's a custom blend from DuPont. They come up with a, a series of paints called Hot Hues. Okay. They're refined pearl and refined metallic. They're really. It took like eight coats of paint to get this blue. That's oh, how wow. transparent it's got really refined pearl and metallics on it. it. Took like eight coats of blue to get this blue, and it's close to the. I think it's B5. The number is from the factory. Yeah. Blue. It's real close to that. But I like this because of the shine. It's just a little bit different for being a custom car and then I painted the stripes in black and then I buried it in about eight coats of clear. Oh wow. Did you do all the paint yourself? No, I got a buddy of mine, Brad Miller here in Wasion. He's been a body man for ever. A great great guy, really good one of the old tin men, sheet metal guys and yeah. stuff. He did he did all the work body wise while we worked together a lot of it, but he did all the work and painted it and my designs, my creation and everything, and I come up with everything how I wanted to do it. But he followed followed my lead on that and then he turned around and took off with it and uh, Brad made it look like it does. Man, he, he did a wonderful job. He, he really did, did man. He a did. full restore all the way, top to bottom. Oh yeah, this thing's been cut up, dissected, new new everything. Everything's everything's new. It's just a, well over the last I've been doing it for like twenty years. I had some health issues that stopped and he got busy, stopped and so it wasn't a twenty year build, but it just took twenty years to get back to this. Yeah. Tell so, me about with the power plant under that hood. Uh, 340. Uh, it's got 10 to add a beefed up a little bit because in 73 they dropped the compression. You know, I, I took it back to like retro 69 when they had a more high performance 69 yeah. 70s. They put the 10 to 1 pistons in it and uh, put a cam in it and the exhaust. And jet hotted the whole exhaust so it don't rust out. The underside is as clean as the top side. Um, it's it had about 385 horse. Wow. Uh, yeah. Automatic, 727 automatic, uh, eight and three quarter rear end. I might change that out yet. Uh, it's a it's a strong running car. I'm just kind of getting out and you know got to work through a few things right now after the major undertaking it took. You know you got a few a few things here and there you got to do with a car like this. So yeah, still going through the process, but you know like I'm learning the car all over again. Uh, that's you know that's fun. Yeah, to is, have the is. car that long and it, and it's a brand new car. Uh, yeah, and a lot of people around here remember the older guys remember the car. Hey, where's that at? Where's that at? I said it's coming. You know, and a couple a few people see it and then some people look at it and get the thumbs up. You know, and it feels feels good after all these years to drive it and see people admire it and stuff and it's just fun. Man, you ought to be proud of it. I am. Interior wise, what'd you do on side? Oh geez. Well I had a, a company down in Toledo. They took all the original panels which are like a molded plastic contoured plastic and we had sewed and glued material over like a nog hide material. Yeah. We did the dash, the back window, the side panels, the uh, console, everything's all matching, had it all, so it wasn't plastic anymore, but it still kept all the same contours. They did a fabulous job. Lee's Trim Shop up on Burn Road in Toledo did a fabulous job for it. 
seats. I had them done a long time ago for a, a local guy here. I don't know if he's still around. Uh, they, they put the blue inserts in for me. I kind of picked that out a long time ago. And I had done back in the seven, late 70s, early 80s, I'd done the old custom thing where you pad, tuft, and rolled. Yep, I yep. did all that myself. And then, of course, time and an evolution of different styles and stuff, I took all that out. And by doing that, though, I, I actually preserved the plastic that was underneath it because it was all covered in nog hide and, and foam and stuff. So I got to use all my original panels and then we come up with this new scheme of putting over top and sewing all the sewing all the inserts and stuff in it and it, it turned out nice. He did a nice job. He did a nice job. Put it is it is a gorgeous automobile. What's left to do? What do you what do you want to do? I guess with it. Ah, uh, well, maybe look into the rear end. I would definitely cruise control because this thing's going to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> maybe air conditioning on weeks like this would be nice, but I'm not sure about that. Cruise control would be definite, but I'd like to maybe change out the rear end. Maybe go like a four wheel disc and put a little bit different style rear end on it with a uh, four wheel disc brakes. Uh, other than that, I don't think I'm going to do much more to it. I just think I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm tired. It's been work. I got enough other projects of trying to keep a house going and all that stuff myself, and so I don't know. I just kind of tweak along. Maybe cruise control, maybe four wheel disc, and then that is, that's about the extent of it. I got a I got a pretty good stereo system, the Eclipse stereo system, okay. about 400 watts in there and it'll about blow the windows out so <laughs> that's all set you know eclipse is a good brand they don't i don't know if you make them anymore but this thing will rock the world um i don't really i mean i don't have a lot to really have to do i, I don't have to do anything but i think for like stopping i will work on the brakes a little bit better because yeah. it is a fast quick car and stuff like that and yeah just go just kind of upgrade things last question man is this ever going to leave uh, your possession do you think well a few people i think ought to be my casket but uh, I don't know. I do have a daughter. That would, she she's more into Camaros than the Cuda. But but uh, I don't know. If the price was right, I suppose somebody had a stack of cash tall enough that really wanted it and had that much cash, money could talk. I suppose. But it'd have to be a tall stack. <laughs> no doubt about that. I agree with you 100. Yeah. percent Hey, it's a beautiful '73 Cuda, Greg, and we thank appreciate you. your taking a little time and show it off for us here today. Well, thank you for inviting me. This is this is kind of a nice honor of my own self after bringing it out and having this opportunity like this. I was kind of fortunate enough last week to go to Brian to a car show, their cruise, yep. and a guy started snapping pictures, and I walked up, he goes, is this your car? So he goes, you mind if I take pictures? I said, well, obviously no, because yeah. he was taking them. He goes, what I do is like Black Swamp, they paint their pictures. Okay. So he's okay. going to take all the photos he took, because they had a reflection of the building and other cars, he's actually going to paint it on canvas, or paint it on whatever, I don't know, material, I assume something like a canvas of some sort. Oh, wow. He's going to actually paint it. Okay. So I'm kind of excited about seeing that. So two car shows. I got well, I was in a car show Memorial Weekend. Got a trophy out of that. So, yeah, it's kind of the first year back out here. It's been kind of a fun little deal, you know. Got some you guys here taking time to enjoy my car as well and give me an opportunity to do this. And like I said, Brian had a nice show and got a chance to have it painted up possibly and the trophy to go with it from the first one. So I just. I'm just going to keep doing this, hopefully for a long time. Uh, hopefully i got a lot of years left to enjoy it after all the years of owning it and have to work on it. So that's Well, at 21, you got a lot of time ahead of you, You're right. You're right. 21, <laughs> I do. It's just them damn anniversaries that's after that, you know? <laughs> no doubt about that. We're at the Wasion Car Show. We've weathered the storm. It's gorgeous out here right now, and we've got a gorgeous 73 Cuda. And we're here thanks to Brian Ford Lincoln, the main stops in Northwest Ohio, Case Beer Chrysler Dodge and Jeep, Wheeling Automotive and Culligan Sales and Service of Northwest Ohio.